What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the sports scarf mock-up templates. Now, this actually comes with four different views. You can see this is view one, and this is the one I'm gonna be uh, modifying today. Then there's view two, three, and four. So those are the four views this comes with. I'm gonna close the second, third, and fourth, and just use the first one. And I'm also gonna be using the 2022, 2023 patterns pack. Um, I'm actually going to be using one of these Juventus patterns. Probably, we'll probably do the pink. Um, so you can see those here. Here's the scarf template, uh, which will be linked down below. And here's the patterns pack I'm using, which will also be linked down below. And let's go ahead and create a scarf. So you can see in the scarf template, we have one smart object, which is where our design will be. So I'm going to go ahead and double click to open that. And I'm going to go to my patterns. I'm going to get this Juventus pattern and drag it on over a while. Um, let's press Command T on that. Going to rotate it. Increase the size a little bit. Press Enter. And then I'm going to right click and rasterize this because it's going to take forever to modify if it's not. Uh, let's move it over to the right side. Press Command T, extend the size halfway. Command J to duplicate and bring it to the other side. We'll actually flip this. I wanted to hide the guide and I'm gonna drag this up, duplicate it again, and merge it all into one. And then I'm gonna zoom in here. And oh, I left a bit of a gap. There we go. I'm going to come in here and select these colors. So I'm going to go ahead, get the pink, click OK, then go ahead and get the bluish, click OK, press Command 0 to zoom out. And yeah, that should be good. Now I'm going to add our logo. So I'm going to hide the background now so I can see the logo is already here. And I'm in Google Chrome and have the Juventus logo pulled up, so I'm going to drag that in. Press Command T, rotate while holding Shift. Drag it, uh, drag it over here, and then line it up with the logo on the left. Press Command J, Command T, rotate, holding Shift. Drag it over to the other side. So now we have both logos lined up, and I'm going to press Command I on both of these. Actually, I'm going to press Command U and drag the lightness all the way up just to make sure it's pure white and not a light gray. Cool, there we go. And now I'm gonna get the Juventus text logo if I can find it somewhere. And this is gonna be a little blurry but it shouldn't matter for the scarf because we have some filters on the smart object um, to make it a little blurry so it looks stitched like a scarf would. So I'm gonna select the text to a solid color, then delete the background. I'm gonna press Command H to bring my guide back up. Select our text here, make sure this is centered. Increase the size a little bit more. Cool, good to go. Now I'm gonna delete everything below that I don't need now. And this is where you could add some further designs of whatever you want. So I'm thinking maybe I create three stripes since Juventus is with Adidas three stripes and it'll fill this space in pretty nicely. So let's create a rectangle. I don't want any rounded corners and I want this to be blue. So let's do that. Bring the size down. Maybe make it a little thinner. Duplicate, drag it, duplicate, drag it. Select those and space them a little better. That works. I'm going to right click rasterize Command G to group, Command J to duplicate, and bring it over to the other side. Cool, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go to the background now, press Command T, and just increase the size a bit. And I'm pretty good with that. Let's save this and see how it looks when it updates. Pretty cool. Um, now we have to modify our colors here. So let's go to the base. I'm going to double click that and select pink. Click OK. And since our base is pink and the front's going to be pink, I'm just going to hide the front so it 
defaults to the pink. Then the sides, uh, we'll go ahead and make blue. You can see the sides are kind of like the stitching where the fringes connect to the scarf. And then we have three fringe options. So if we just wanted it all to be pink, we could just hide everything. Uh, if we wanted it all to be blue, we could make all these the blue color. And then it'll all be blue. Uh, but I want to mix in some other colors. So I'm actually going to hide fringe three, which will make it pink. Then fringe two, I'm going to make white. And then fringe one will be blue. So we have a mix of colors in there which I think looks pretty good. And as you can see, that basically finishes off our scarf. So we could then save it with the background of the grass. We could save it without the white line, or we could just hide all of these and save it with the transparent background, and I'm good to go. Now, one thing I wanna point out is if I open up the smart object to see the filters and zoom in, you can see the design and the text has a little bit of a blur because there is a small mosaic and ripple. If you want it to come out more clear, you can just simply hide the mosaic. You could hide the ripple, but I feel like both of those add some realism to the scarf because the scarf would be um, obviously like knitted, so it wouldn't be perfectly clear like a digital graphic is. So this kind of adds a little bit more of a realistic look, but you can do whatever you want with it, but the options are there. So hopefully you enjoy. Be sure to check out Template FC to download this mock-up or the patterns pack. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.